Hey, sweeties. Let's do a two-year follow-up review of the Ninja Foodie Never Stick Premium. This is a five-quart saute pan, and I use this almost every day. It's my favorite pan, but unfortunately, it's got a chip in it. It's got a chip in it, and that is not good. So, yeah, it's disappointing, but there is a warranty on the pan. So, once I saw the chip, I looked up the number. I went to um, ninjakitchens.com, uh, the Ninja Foodie website, looked up their customer service number. Well, I read the warranty first to make sure that I was covered. And the chips are covered. There's a 10 year warranty. I thought that there was a lifetime warranty when I first bought the pen two years ago. So maybe something has changed. I'll have to go back and look through um, if I have any paperwork. But when I went on um, ninjakitchens.com, it says there is a 10 year warranty, um, which again, two years falls under that under normal kitchen use. Um, not putting knives in it, not heating it to over 500 degrees. Um, it should not chip, but unfortunately we have a chip. So I called the number and just within a couple of minutes, I was connected to a customer service agent who was super helpful. Um, asked me uh, some questions at first about how I use the pan, did I use metal utensils in it? And um, I don't use metal utensils, I use like silicon or uh, wooden utensils when I cook with this, but um, it does say on the Ninja Foodie um, information when you buy the pan that you can, it's metal utensils safe is what they say. Now I don't use metal utensils in it, but it did say metal utensils safe. Well, he asked me if I used metal utensils in it, so I said no. Do I heat it over 500 degrees? No, just normal household use, the stovetop and the oven. And I don't put it in the dishwasher either. I wash it by hand. So then the customer service agent said, well, let's do a live uh, video call and show me the pen. Well, I was not ready for that. So I was like, oh, oh okay, live call right now? Yeah, right now. So we did, he sent me a text and it had the link for the live video call in it. And I was able to show him the chip in the pan. And he said, yeah, that's no good. We'll send you a uh, replacement. Wow, no problems. So when you read the warranty, it does say that there is a, um, $20, I think it was $20 and five cent uh, shipping charge to send out the replacement. So I read that and I was aware of that. Um, and the customer service agent brought that up that there would be a $20 and five or 95, something like that. $20, about $20 charge to ship the new item. It's not a big deal, but you know, I asked, <laughs> it can't hurt to ask, right? I said, can you waive that charge? Can you waive the $20 uh, shipping fee? I said, well, let me check. So he puts me on hold and he goes to check and he comes back and he says, yeah, we'll waive the $20 charge just this one time though. <laughs> so I was very happy with that and he got all my uh, shipping information and um, said, okay, we're going to ship it out right away. It should be there in a, less than a week. Let me send you a, a confirmation email while I have you on the phone so that we know that, you know, all the information is accurate. While we were on the phone, I got the email, was able to check that the address, shipping address and everything was correct, um, which is just such good customer service. Um, and he said, okay, well, you'll have your new pan out in a few days. Later that evening, the call ended. It was perfect, fine. Call ended. Later that evening, I get an email saying, your pan is shipped. <laughs> your pan has shipped out. So, it, and it arrived in like 
three or four days. And here it is. <laughs> Let me put this to the side. So this is the old pen. And this is the new pan. And it is the same five quart Ninja Foodi Never Stick non stick pan um, that I have been using for um, over two years and love. So, you know, you can see the difference between this new pan. Hang on, let me put them side, side by side so you can see. And the pan does come with the lid as well. So put them side by side so you can see the difference between the old pan and the new pan. Now, the old pan is quite a bit duller. You can see that the finish looks a lot different. Um, and I have noticed that the old pan was not as non-stick as it was um, over time, over you know, multiple uses, not as non-stick as it was when I first purchased it. So be aware of that. I still would recommend the pan. Just, you know, make sure that you register your pan or whatever products you get. There's a um, registration that you can do online where you put in like the make and model of what you purchased and your purchase date and everything. Um, because that may come up in case you have some type of warranty issue. But um, the replacement process was so smooth. I was very happy with the customer service. Again, disappointed that the pan shipped. It's not what you want. Um, and that is a, you know, a big reason why people don't like um, non-stick pans is because they have a limited lifespan and they can tend to chip um and scratch and the uh, nonstick coating wears uh, you know down over time um if you have something like cast iron or uh, carbon steel those they last a lifetime maybe more than a lifetime really you can pass them down with proper care they the care on those kinds of pans cast iron carbon steel um they can become more nonstick ish over time um, but you have to care for them uh, a lot more. A lot more goes into it than with something like um, a non-stick pan like this. So there is a trade-off. There's ease of use with the non-stick pans and there is basically a lifetime of use with something like cast iron or carbon steel. I do like the ease of use of a non-stick pan. Um, helps get you in and out of the kitchen super easy uh so that is something to think about though so i will have to contact uh, ninja kitchens to ask how do you dispose of an aluminum pan is it recyclable like can i put this in a recycle bin i am not sure uh, if you know if you have any advice leave that in the comments i'm curious to hear your thoughts and i'm curious if you own um ninja foodie never stick pans um, have you had any issues with um, scratching or chipping anything like that or starting to stick over time? I'm curious. I want to hear your thoughts. So that's my two year review um, of the Ninja Foodie Never Stick Premium 5 Quart Anodized Aluminum Pan. Um, it's uh, not as non-stick. Maybe not never stick, maybe a little stick, 
um, and it chipped. So please subscribe to Sweet Savant, hit that thumbs up, that notification bell, and y'all have a delicious day.